Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation and apply the chain rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, f of x is equal to the square root of a negative 2x squared plus 1. Okay? I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of having a square root, I'm going to write it to the 1 half power. I prefer seeing fractions as exponents there. So we have f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 1, all to the 1 half power. So now I have my function. I can see that it's, I can see if I can combine this, or see it has two parts, the parentheses and then the exponent. So I'm going to see if I can write this as an f of g function. So if my f is x to the 1 half power, my g would be what's inside the parentheses, and negative 2x squared plus 1. And hopefully we can see that if I take all that and plug it in for my x, I get this function right here, my f of x right there. So once I have this, let's go find f prime. f prime, power of 1 half x to the negative 1 half power, pretty simple. And we find g prime as well, which is the negative 4x, okay? We, again, using the power rule. So when I take my derivative, my f prime of x right here, I need to find f prime of g, f prime being 1 half x, right? So I'm going to leave a parenthesis there, the negative 1 half power. And g is a negative 2x squared plus 1. And that's going to be multiplied by my g prime, which is a negative 4x. So my next step, I'm going to write my final answer here. I had f prime of x. And I see that I have um, this parenthesis, negative 2x squared plus 1, all to the negative 1 half power. I want to make that to the positive 1 half power. So I'm going to put that in the denominator. So we have negative 2 x squared plus 1 to the positive 1 half power, okay? Then from there, I see a 1 half times negative 4. That comes out to be a negative 2. So we have a 2 out there, 2x in the numerator. And the negative, we can put it out front or up here. I'll put it up here for right now. And there we have our answer. f prime of x is equal to negative 2x over parentheses negative 2x squared plus 1 and parentheses to the 1 half power. It's a positive 1 half power. So let's recap. We're given our f of x being the radical or square root, sorry, our square root of negative 2x squared plus 1. I rewrote that to be to the 1 half power. I then found my f of g as well as my f prime and g prime. I then applied calculus and used the chain rule here uh, to find f prime of x to get uh, f prime of g uh, times g prime. At this point, I have my derivative, but I need to simplify. And in my simplification, I bring my, make my exponents positive and simplify and multiply some things out. I have my final answer here of f prime of x is equal to negative 2x over parentheses negative 2x squared plus 1 and parentheses to the positive 1 half 